This is a great commission. Yeah. Let this mind be in you. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to focus on the word let. Paul said, let this mind be in you. In other words, allow this mind to be in you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let it be in you. I want, to, I want to open up why he said let. Make a place for this mind mm -hmm. to be in you. Let it be in you. Uh -huh. Make make accommodations mm -hmm. for this mind to be in you. It's like be to be hospitable. Mm -hmm. To being hospitable to someone that's a guest in your house. Well, you you allow you allow uh, a place for them. You accommodate them. You don't hinder them. Mm -hmm. You make them feel welcome. You're hospitable to them. So you let them be in your house. So let this mind be in you. He didn't say, make this mind be in you. Yeah. Amen. He didn't say, act like this mind is in you. Mm -hmm. Which these are popular ways uh -huh. to approach right? the, the things that the Lord has given us to do. It's, it's popular to, to make things happen or to act like things have happened or learn how to make this mind or learn how to have this mind in you. But Paul just said, let this mind be in you. See, he's telling us something about the mind. Uh -huh. That tells us something about the mind, to let it, let it be in you. He also said, let your light shine. Uh -huh. Not make it shine, not act like it's shining, uh -huh. let it shine, yeah. which tells you something about the light that's, right. that's in you. Paul said, let, because this mind will make a place in you. The mind will. His mind will. His mind will penetrate into your mind. And His mind will permeate into your inner man. It has a nature to do that. The mind of Christ... See, you, we can't separate Christ from His mind. How, how can you? When Paul said to the Corinthians, but we have the mind of Christ, well, you have His mind when you have Him. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. You, you, you can't separate you can't separate the two at least I don't see how you can so when Christ dwells in your heart by faith well his mind is in you see some there have been some that tried to steal this away from us by saying that was just for the apostles mm -hmm. but I can't conceive of how Christ could be in me and his mind not That's right. yeah. his mind yeah. not be in me so let this mind dwell within you see Christ he will permeate mm -hmm. he will penetrate into our beings. That, that's His nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Word of God also tells us, let brotherly love continue. Mm -hmm. Which tells us that unhindered, it will continue. That's its nature. Uh -huh. is to continue and to advance and to progress and to grow. Brotherly love will do that. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, then it's been hindered. Yep, that's right. It's been, it's been confined over to, you know, to, to a place of the house, that to an a unprominent place in the house. If you let this mind be in you, then it will be, it will be prominent. It will, it will penetrate, and it will, it will engraft itself in us and make us a part of it and it a part of us. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you. This is a high calling. I'm glad he said it just like this, to let this mind be be in you. See, our efforts are only effectual when we let. Amen. That's when I, that's when our labors. That's when they uh -huh. count. Uh -huh. Let see the book of Hebrews. Is, this is a, a genius way of approaching it. The book of Hebrews talks about um, laboring to enter into His rest. And we when we enter into His rest, then we cease from our own labors. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see how that's uh -huh. it's all it's almost a. Uh, what they call it is it's a dichotomy. We labor to enter into His rest, mm -hmm. and when we labor into His rest, then we cease from our labors. Mm -hmm. You see, so we enter into His rest, right. and in His rest means that His works are working in us, yeah. and now we are laboring together with Him. Mm -hmm. That's when it's effectual. Amen. So let this mind be in you. It's a I I, just, I love the way the Lord, I love the way the Lord works with us. It's, it's merciful. Mm -hmm. it's, yep. it's tender. He doesn't quench a smoking flax. He doesn't break the bruised reed, which all of us have been. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 6, verse 16 says, Know you not 
that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants you are Amen. to whom you obey. Now this eluded me for quite some time. It, it's, it's profound in nature, but it, at, at glance it looks like it's simple. Know you not that when you make yourself servant to someone, you're their servant? Well, what he means by, by that is, his, well, he goes on to say, his servants you are to whom you obey. Mm -hmm. See, there's, there's the nature of servanthood. Mm -hmm. When you yield yourself, then you are becoming obedient. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're handing the reins over. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what the Romans 6.16 is about. Mm -hmm. Know you not to whom you yield yourself servants to obey? You will obey him. That means you're, the master calls the shots. You don't. <coughs> Well, yield is another way of saying let. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So know you not that when you, you yield yourselves unto Christ, that you are His servant to obey? Mm -hmm. And the disciples called Him Master. Yep. And when we let this mind be in us, we're calling Him Master. Mm -hmm. Well, He's a good Master. Amen. <clears throat> so... Um, Amen. Let, uh, let this mind be in you. Just a couple more thoughts. It, it could have been said to the ancient Israelites, let Moses lead you. Well, Moses was a leader. Mm -hmm. God made him a leader. So let him lead you. Well, Korah didn't. And so he was, just, he was eliminated. Him and his band, they, they were just eliminated. Let, if you let Moses lead you, he led. Yeah. See, otherwise he had to, you had to, be, you had to hinder him. You had to hinder the arrangement and go against the grain otherwise. But if you if you let Moses lead you, you were going out of Egypt. Mm -hmm, that's right. You just let it happen. Amen. The King David, God made David king. You, if you just let David reign over you, and he and he blessed you, just let him reign over you because he was God made him king. See, so God God's kingdom works in a, in a certain way. It's going in a certain direction. Let this mind be in you means you're. You're moving in the same direction as the kingdom is. Amen. Let them. See, so when Jesus comes, he Jesus brings the agenda. There's a there's a Jesus presented today, that th that Jesus comes and asks you what you want, what you need, and what you like, and what your dreams are. Well, Jesus, he brings the plans. Yes. Amen. He's the master. So let this mind mm -hmm. be in you. I, I wouldn't have it any other way because yeah. everything I've done is messed yeah. up. Yeah. And so I'm going to let Amen. this mind be in me. And then he'll he'll make he'll make me acceptable to God. He'll make me pleasing to God. Right, he'll make me that I will all have an abundant entrance into the heavenly kingdom. He'll make when I let this mind be in me, then on that day I'll hear, "Well done, good and faithful servant." Yeah. If I don't, then I'll hear, "Depart from me." That's what it, that's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. So, Amen. thank you, brother Jeremy, for your for your words.